Is it Billy Elliot? Is it Lion King? Oh boy, gonna meet the cast of a famous Broadway show. Oh, Jennifer doesn't like it. It's a giant baby demon. That show's new. I never actually heard of that show. But no, this is not a show. This is just the mutant baby that the letter was talking us to. I mean, oh god, panic button. The, the you know the letter for uh, mentioned two brothers, two twins. This is Bobby's brother. Yeah, hard to believe, but it's, it's he's Bobby's brother. I don't know how he got that mutated. I don't even know how he got that ugly, but still, he is Bobby's brother. He his name's Dan. <sighs> Sorry, I'm pressing the panic button. His name's Dan, and um, he is out to kill you too, even though he doesn't know you. But you know. What? What was that? Was that a glitch or was that a, like a creepy sound for you to get scared? Anyway, Bobby dies. I mean, Danny dies. I mean, Dan dies like that. Jennifer says, ah, oh, ah, oh, for some reason. And... That's it. That's how Dan dies. That, that's not really, um, hard. I mean, yeah, not hard. And everything's shaking for some reason. I hope it's not my TV or my game. Hopefully the game's like that. And here's where the glitch happens. Sometimes it just freezes and you can't go get the ending, but hopefully it won't freeze this time. And here's an elevator, which is weird because we're in a cave. Cave, you're not supposed to have elevators. And actually, the friggin' screen is not shaking in my capture device. I think it's just my TV or the game just glitched up. As I say, as I, yeah, as I say, as I said, this game is really glitchy, sometimes just does crazy stuff. So, it's second floor, first floor, we're gonna go to the third floor, actually. I don't know what these two do, but hopefully it's nothing good. I don't even, I don't know if the first floor leads you somewhere in the mansion or the second floor does. But the third floor is an unexplored. What happened? Oh no! Something opened the door, and... Better get out of here. Oh gosh, it's the glitch again. Yep. You see, that's Bobby, and then the ending's supposed to come up, but... Then this happens, and I don't even know how to continue, because then it just stays there. It won't, like, continue, and... Um... I don't know if... Okay, let's try that. Sometimes this happens. I don't even know how to avert it. But hopefully the continue option is still there. I don't need, I don't know where I'm going to be continuing off from. Hopefully this doesn't screw up our ending too. Let's see. Where does this leave us? There we go. That's the sound I wanted to hear. So there's Bobby. Oh no. He's chasing us down. So, basically, we got off the elevator, Bobby is chasing us, and he goes up here. It's a clock tower! So, let's do what Lottie said. The switch is in the clock tower. That must mean... These two... So what do you do now, Bobby? Oh no, the clock tower is not gonna be suicidal for some reason! I'm gonna jump off the air! Die! Yeah! Oh, look who's, he look who's here! Jennifer, go check on your friend. Don't be lazy. Stop trying to regain your strength. Go check on Laura. There you go. Laura! You! You killed my sons! Panic button! Ah! Remember those crows? They're back and they're trying to kill Mary because they know you're friendly and not bad. So long story short, Mary goes crazy with the crows, even though she just she can just, you know, kill them with her hands if she's gonna kill you. But apparently they drive her off to the edge instead of trying to fight them off. Mary's just like, okay, I'm gonna just walk backwards and fall to my ultimate death. Wee! Jennifer's surprised for some reason. She goes back to Laura really slowly. I hate slowdowns in SNES games. Shouldn't have slowdowns though. Oh, we hear the bells ringing. Laura's alive. And we get to see the morning sun. Always gonna shine again. Let's see what happens. It stays on this screen for 
bit too long. I guess it takes a while to process the ending? Not sure. Let's see what happens after this reunion with Laura and whatnot. It's laggy rain. Or at least it looks laggy on my screen. But whatever, this is not the morning sun I was promised. It's what? It's like 12... Uh, it's 12.20 a.m. Because, you know, this takes... Okay, there we go, no rain. There is a morning sun. Even though it's friggin' 12.20 in the night. I mean, yeah, it's, it's basically midnight. Why is there a morning sun in the distance anyway? That's Clock Tower. It's a short game. It's a creepy game, if you don't know what to do, because sometimes you get lost and then you find Bobby in unexpected places. But basically, if you know what to do, it's not that creepy, it's really short. But still, it's pretty well done for gamers that don't know what to do, you know. If you've played this before, then you know what to do, and it's not that great because you know where to go and and, and any uh, and other things. But anyway, I'm going to let you enjoy the credits. This has been Highly Leonardo with... A glitchy game, a creepy game, bad commentary, interruptions, and then more glitches, and then bad voice acting, I guess. So later. I'll see you when I come back from vacation, and I continue my Little King story. Let's play, okay? Goodbye.